on this episode of Urban Beauty TV. We explore the world of mineral-based beauty products. Welcome to Urban Beauty TV. I'm your host, Midori Ame. And cosmetics brand founder, Monique Glover, hangs out with us in studio to discuss her mineral-based product line. Slay tuned. Welcome back to Urban Beauty TV. Now, Monique Glover has always had a love for fashion, but her affinity for cosmetics was something totally extra. However, the more she learned about the products and ingredients she saw on the shelves, the more she became disillusioned with the safety of those brands. Now, Glover chose to create her own brand, I wish I could, La Monique Cosmetics, an all-inclusive indie curated brand of mineral-based innocuous products that are lavender aromatherapy infused and contain safe pigments, including titanium oxide, zinc oxide, and iron all the oxides. <laughs> Monique, welcome to Urban Beauty TV. Thank you, thank you for having me. I'm so happy to have you here. Okay, now I've had a chance to look through the collection and really dig into you, but I want you to present yourself to our viewers. Tell us about La Monique Cosmetics. Well, La Monique Cosmetics is a mineral-based brand of cosmetics. Mm -hmm. We're non-toxic, there's no um, parabens, but there's also no toxic preservatives. Right, that's what we were talking about, innocuous, clean products, yes. yes. So we go beyond no parabens. What does that mean? You know, we're, we're seeing a lot of green products, mm -hmm. but they still have a lot of toxic things. Yes. What separates La Monique from any of the other products we're seeing on the shelves? Well, because the products are mineral-based, mm -hmm. there's no need for toxic preservatives because they have natural antimicrobials. What? Words. What are they? <laughs> Microbials. What is this about? Well, they, um, they keep, you know, d uh, germs and disease from growing in the products. Mm -hmm. But also, if you have problematic skin that suffers from outbreaks, mm -hmm. it helps to kill the bacteria on the skin as well. That is so beautiful. I, we were talking earlier and I feel like mineral-based products, number one, hard to come by. They're normally a little bit more pricey, but mm -hmm. it's so worth it because it's good for your skin. Talk about like how it helps keep your skin clean. Yes, yeah, so the natural antimicrobials in the products, um, they keep germs from actually growing in the products, nice. but they also help with problematic skin. Yes, mm -hmm. that's me. That's definitely me, right? <laughs> <laughs> awesome. How did you bring this product to market now? Well, I had to find a manufacturer. Yeah. So I did that, and then I was able to source packaging mm -hmm. within the United States that was um, food-grade packaging. Nice. Because that was very important. Explain that, so food-grade packaging versus... Mm -hmm. Well, you don't want to put products in packaging that's not food-grade because the chemicals will eventually seep into the product. Oh, wild. How did you get the word out about the new product line? Well, I started developing in 2016, mm -hmm. made my first sale in 2017, Ooh. but it was very slow. It was really difficult to get people to purchase the products. Mm -hmm. So I was vending and attending different events, and I said, if I can't reach the average consumer, then maybe I need to, you know, find influencers and things of that such. So what did that do for you? Um, sales definitely increased, <laughs> right? definitely from there. And yeah. um, I was able to create more of a product line. What else have you done? I mean, the brand has grown exponentially. Well, I was, I actually just went to the last year's Emmy Awards. Nice. So that was amazing. And I was also able to get movie product placement. Nice, what, it, what is that about? Well, it's a Hollywood feature film, which will be coming out, I believe, next year. It was postponed because of the pandemic. Of course. The but <laughs> if you know anything about movie product placement, it can cost you oh upwards to $50,000. Yeah. So I basically bartered. That's what I do. I nice. do a lot of bartering for my business. Nice. I do have an ad coming out in Sheen Magazine shortly. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Yes. That's beautiful. So I, I, see, I hear collaborative effort. I hear you doing this entrepreneurial spirit. You know, what's the next step for you? You know, you've got an amazing product line now. You've been placed at the Oscars and the Emmys. <laughs> what more is there for you? Well, this year I'd really like to scale the business mm -hmm. and have a partnership with a, a corporate large retail chain. Yes. Look, put the name out there. Who you want to work with? <laughs> There's so many. I don't, whoever is willing to come my way, right? that, you know, I'm, I'm open to contracts. I know we are open for business, okay? <laughs> I love that. 
When we come back, Monique will walk us through her entire product line of La Monique Cosmetics. We'll be right back. We are back loving on Monique Glover, CEO and founder of La Monique Cosmetics, and she's about to give us a rundown on this product line. Mm -hmm. Well, we have the lip glosses, and they can be worn alone or on top of your favorite lipstick for a little bit of pop. Like me today, I've got a little gloss on top of like a little nude yes. palette. This is perfect. Looks I love gorgeous. it. Thank you. And it's lots of shine in there, but there's no uh, cosmetic glitter. Cosmetic glitter is toxic, so that's all natural right. light reflecting minerals in there. Can we express that glitter has what in it? It's what is it just made of? little tiny bits of plastic. Y'all, stop putting plastic on your face. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. And then we have the lipsticks, which are lavender aromatherapy infused. I live for the aromatherapy infused. How did yes. you come up with putting the lavender inside of the lipstick? Well, you know, lavender aromatherapy helps you to relax. It relaxes the central nervous system. Yeah. So if you're at work in a corporate meeting mm -hmm. and you want to, you know, glam up and, and relax yourself, like or that. if you're going out on a first date. It's first date attire. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> what else do you have? And then I have my uh, vegan uh, makeup brushes. Nice. So um, a lot of people don't know that makeup brushes are made out of animal hair, mm. which can cause an allergic reaction to the skin. Oh, so wow. the syn synthetic fibers in my makeup brushes, mm. they won't cause a reaction. This is the one time you want synthetic hair. Yes. Got it. <laughs> right. And it's cruelty free. 100% nice. cruelty free. Oh, I love that. That's yes. awesome. And I have my foundations here. The foundations are mineral based. Mm -hmm. And like I said before, all the products are hypoallergenic. So you mm. don't have to worry about um, breakouts. But because of the antimicrobials in the foundation, it helps to kill the bacteria on nice. the skin. So if you suffer from acne or any kind of breakouts, it will help mm -hmm. to kill that bacteria down and uh, lessen the breakouts. So that, that foundation, is that, a, is that a loose powder? Is that yes, a press? Okay, it's a loose gotcha. powder. Nice, mm -hmm. I love the collection. I mean, you've got so many different shades. That's beautiful. Yes. And um, then we have the Illuminator, which is a highlighter, and it comes in three different shades. You are very illuminated today, <laughs> okay? You are definitely highlighted. <laughs> it gives you a nice dewy glow. You can actually wear that alone without yeah. any other makeup and just brighten up your face. I love that. And then I have the primer here, which is used as a, a, a base, as a primer base nice. for your foundations. We have the concealer, which helps, you know, those sleepy eyes. Girl, it helps to <laughs> this morning. Conceal. Yes, team no sleep is, yes. is real, you know. When you're an entrepreneur, <laughs> you need the concealer. Yes. You need some concealer. <laughs> and then um, I have the eyeshadow palette there, nice. which now is- Now we don't get into the eyeshadow palette. Yes. We've got to cover this one in depth. Tell okay. me a little bit about the story behind this palette. This is not just any kind of eyeshadow palette. This is brand new, but it's got a cause to it. Yes. So I partnership with the Descendants of Truth Foundation nice. to create the very first eyeshadow palette dedicated to an African-American abolitionist. So Jonah Truth, if you didn't catch that. So yes. Jonah Truth, the <laughs> Miss Madam, yes. <laughs> so tell me, what is the one thing you want the average consumer to know when they're looking at uh, La Monique, when they're looking to buy clean, right? And they actually want to, to do something good for their skin. What do you want people to know about your products? Well, the products are hypoallergenic, so you don't have to worry about breakouts, non-comedogenic, so they won't cause your, clog your pores, and they're also affordable. I wanted to create a mineral brand that was affordable. I believe that people shouldn't have to choose between health and glamour. So you've got your best sellers. We're ready to, we're ready to shop. So whether they're shopping, the lip glosses, or the best-selling highlighter, what do you want consumers to walk away with when they buy your product? Well, I want them to know that the products are safe and that they've supported an entrepreneur. Yes, a black woman owned business to be exact, okay? Yes, Miss Monique Lover, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. This has been another edition of Urban Beauty TV.